What up, Knights? I'm Kayla Mazaring. And I'm Sydney Spielman. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the, the Royal, Royal Report. Report. Let's get right into the news. Coming up, we have KT Sports Vlogs. Wait, what? I thought sports were canceled. Um, well, it's complicated. KT, can you take it from here? What's up, Knights? I'm KT, bringing you another episode of Sports Tonight. First off, let's talk about winter sports. Are they canceled? After last week's cancellation and parents and students a little outraged, the Arizona Interscholastic Association called an emergency meeting. On Tuesday, they live streamed the executive board meeting. They ruled five to four in favor of allowing sports to continue. So, we're back on. They also established that only two parents or guardians will be allowed to attend a game per athlete. On that note, the first games for boys and girls basketball and soccer will be on January 19th. Both varsity boys soccer and basketball teams will be playing at Agua Fria. Varsity girls soccer and basketball teams will be playing at home starting at six for girls soccer and seven for basketball. Let's start this year off right. Thanks for tuning in on an episode for Sports Tonight. I'm Katie Thomas and remember to keep grinding and fly right. Thanks Katie, I'm glad sports are back on. Me too, I'm really happy, especially considering the three day weekend. There's a three day weekend? Yeah, Monday is actually Martin Luther King Day. Here's Kelly to explain the significance. I have a dream. That one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and civil rights activist who fought for the lives of African American people in the United States. He was born January 15, 1929, and assassinated April 4, 1968. His birthday is remembered as Martin Luther King Day, a day where he is celebrated and remembered for what he did and how he shaped America. He's best known for his I Have a Dream speech, where he called an end to racism and social injustice in the United States. In the speech, he stated, There will be neither rest nor tranquility in America until the colored citizen is granted their citizenship rights. The whirlwinds of revolt will continue to shake the foundations of our nation until the bright day of justice emerges. King stressed that his voice will not be silenced until it is heard, and it was. He became a beacon of hope for hundreds, knowing he was putting his life at risk because he was fighting for something bigger than himself. He was fighting for basic human rights. He was fighting for the life of every African American in the U.S. He was fighting for his dream to break the chains of segregation and racial injustice. His life was cut short, but his words ring across America to this day. Next Monday, there will be no school in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Because of this, the schedule will be different. Because we have no school Monday, you will attend periods 1, 2, and 3 on Tuesday, and periods 4, 5, and 6 on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday classes will continue as usual. This is Callie Anna Bodeen, and don't forget to stay plus ultra. Thank you, Callie. You know what? He was a pretty cool dude. Uh, cool might be a little bit of an understatement, but you've got the spirit. Hey, is it just me or is it kind of cold in here? I don't know. I feel pretty hot. That was a dumb joke, Kayla. Uh, I tried my best. Hey, I thought those school sweatshirts weren't allowed. What do you mean? Well, I mean, just there are new rules for club sweatshirts. They have to be one of five school colors. Black, gray, purple, white, or yellow? Yep, and if you do have the night logo, it needs to be right here. Well, that's all I have for you today, Knights. I'm Sid. I'm Kayla, and that's the T. Remember, Knights, you are loved. Bye-bye.